What's up guys, it is I, once again, Yusuf Al Sanad, and welcome to another episode of the Movie Monday series created by Emily Boone. She's a really awesome YouTuber and one I'm very proud to call my friend, my dear beloved friend. Please check her channel out, the link for her channel is down below in the description box. And for this week's topic, I'll be sharing with you guys and gals my top 5 favorite movies starring Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy, if you guys and gals don't know, is one of my favorite actors of all time. I really I really do love him and what he brings to the table, that being in cinema. And just like the previous episodes of the Movie Monday series, I'll be ranking the movie starring Tom Hardy I love most from number 5 to number 1. And here is how the list goes. At number 5 we have George Miller's Mad Max Fury Road. And while Tom Hardy isn't the main focus of Mad Max Fury Road, he does play the title character, Max himself, a role that was made popular by Mel Gibson my boy Mel Gibson and while he's nowhere near as charismatic or good as Mel Gibson he does his very best with the material given to him and I really do like his character and just how aggressive and violent he can be both Tom Hardy's version of Mad Max and Charlize Theron's character Furiosa are being chased down by this man known as Immortan Joe who is commanding an army of these white skinned boys boys who he manipulates and make them believe that he is is their lord and they are destined to go to the gates of Valhalla. It's a very Norse mythology type religion that they believe in and he wants them to chase down both Furiosa and Mad Max because they took his wives, all four of his wives, I think it was four wives or five wives, I'm not really sure, but Immortan Joe is quite a pervert, I know. While I don't think that Tom Hardy's version of Mad Max isn't as good or complex like Mel Gibson's version, I do think he does well with the role given to him and like all the roles Tom Hardy plays at least his best work he plays these very quiet brutish type men who do have heart and do have a very soft side to them and Tom Hardy's Mad Max is no different and I really do love him in this role at number four we have Gavin O'Connor's Warrior in which Tom Hardy plays one of two brother the youngest Tommy Conlon and Tommy Conlon is a man who went AWOL from the military when he returned back to the state during one of his many tour in whatever war he was fighting in and he participates in this mixed martial arts tournament where he's trying to earn some money he's trying to earn money for the widowed wife of his best friend who has fallen in the war it becomes very complicated when his older brother who's played by Joel Edgerton he wishes to participate in the mixed martial arts tournament as well so that he can earn money for his own family his wife and two daughters and these two brothers had so many issues growing Growing up considering their father was an alcoholic and their mother died when they were at a very young age and what's really sad about their mother's death is the fact that Tommy was the one who was close to her right before she died and Tommy's older brother was never there for him or their mother so you can understand why he's so mad and why he really can't let go of this grudge he has towards his brother and their father their alcoholic father Gavin O'Connor's warrior is a really sad sports drama as sad as warrior is however the main focus is on the brothers the Conlon brothers and Tom Hardy is so fantastic as Tommy Conlon I really felt for him I personally understood his aggression his anger and his resentment towards his own brother because just like Tommy I hate my own brother to this very day I cannot go of the grudge I have for him you could say that Tommy and I are of one mind and I really did felt for him and Tom Hardy just like his previous roles is so fantastic as Tommy Tommy Conlon. He brought so much heart and so much weight to his character. At number three, we have Alejandro Gonzalez in Naruto's The Revenant, which stars Leo DiCaprio in the lead role as Hugh Glass, who's based on the real life figure Hugh Glass. And while the movie is nowhere near the real life story of Hugh Glass and his quest for revenge against Fitzgerald, his friend Fitzgerald, who in the movie is played by Tom Hardy, the monumental big difference between the real life story of Hugh Glass, which is very amazing and so inspiring, and Alejandro Gonzalez in Naruto's The Revenant, is the fact that Hugh Glass did not have a son. Hugh Glass was a man who was single and he had no one else but his friends until one day Hugh Glass's friends, Fitzgerald and a young man who I forgot what his name was, but both of them abandoned Hugh Glass after they spent a whole
whole week trying to look out for him because he was attacked by a bear, a bear attack which left him gravely injured. His injuries were so severe, he needs time to recover and to get back on his feet. Fitzgerald, on the other hand, was not patient. After spending a whole week trying to look out for Hugh Glass along with their younger friend, he just couldn't take it and he just lost his mind and decided to leave Hugh Glass while taking his clothes, his money, his food, everything. It was bad enough that he left him, but the fact that he took his clothes and everything most important to him, you can clearly understand why Hugh Glass hated Fitzgerald so much and why he wants nothing more than to tear Fitzgerald's throat out. And the sad yet ironic tale of Hugh Glass's story is that he never got his revenge on Fitzgerald because Fitzgerald was in the army. He was in the army by the time Hugh Glass reached the fort where he believed Fitzgerald was until they told him that he joined the army three months ago. And that's a huge low blow guys because he came all this way to get his hands on Fitzgerald, tear his throat out like he wanted to, only to find out that he joined the army and because their younger friend was just a kid, he didn't want to do anything to him because obviously he didn't know any better and Fitzgerald was manipulating him. So he's like, whatever man. Tom Hardy's take on the Fitzgerald character is one I really do find intriguing and one I find to be very complex. I found him to be very complex and intriguing because a lot of things he says when he abandoned Hugh Glass, Fitzgerald's reasons do make sense because considering the time they were in and how there was war and so many carnage going on because of the Native Americans and those who were prejudiced towards the natives, it was a very harsh, cruel time. So what Fitzgerald did, he did what he had to do to survive. He had to survive no matter what, just like Hugh Glass tried to survive so that he can get his revenge on Fitzgerald, who in the movie killed his son. I don't understand why they added a son to Hugh Glass's character because I didn't care for his son, nor did I care for him wanting revenge against Fitzgerald for the fact that he killed his son. It would have been natural and made more sense if Hugh Glass was just angry and pissed towards Fitzgerald and their younger friend for abandoning him. Whether you like him or hate him, Fitzgerald's character is very intriguing and one I really do find to be complex, like Leo DiCaprio's character, his take on Hugh Glass, and Tom Hardy is absolutely fantastic as Fitzgerald. He's slimy, scummy, but also very intriguing, complex character. At number two, we have Stephen Knight's Locke, in which Tom Hardy plays the character Ivan Locke, a man who is from Wales, but lives in London along with his wife and two sons. And one day he goes on a long road trip. I won't explain his reason for going on this road trip to a different part in England. I will say though that Ivan Locke is a man who's brought himself a lot of trouble, a lot of issues, and he managed to screw up his own marriage, his own life, his job, every one of those important parts of Ivan Locke's life, he managed to screw it all up. Tom Hardy's so good as always, but damn, I felt so bad for Ivan Locke. I mean, he brought the situation on himself, but still sad to see him go through the motion. I felt so bad for Ivan Locke that by the end, I just want to give him a big hug and tell him, dude, everything will be okay, when clearly it won't, because Ivan Locke's life has went downhill and it will sink lower. And finally, at number one, we have Nicholas Vidding Refn's Bronson, a 2009 release prison crime drama in which Tom Hardy plays the title character Charlie Bronson, even though his real name is Michael Peterson. Michael Peterson is a young man who has grown up in East London. I could have chosen any other roles played by Tom Hardy. I decided to go with Tom Hardy's role as Charlie Bronson because I found this character to be the most complex, the most intriguing, and the one in which Tom Hardy Hardy has the most range and versatility as an actor because he is so versatile and so dynamic as this character Charlie Bronson and whether you hate him or loathe him because honestly guys there is nothing to like about this man. He is despicable, inhuman, he's such an awful person that you can't find any humanity in him and what's so good about both Tom Hardy
hardest performance as Charlie Bronson and Nicholas Winning reference direction and writing. It's the way they humanize Charlie Bronson and showing him as a man, a man who's very misunderstood and is just so deranged. Out of all the characters that Tom Hardy has played, Michael Peterson, aka Charlie Bronson, is the most interesting, the most complex, and without question, the most memorable, one who is so enduring and so timeless. Tom Hardy's role as Charlie Bronson earns his spot on my list as my favorite movie starring Tom Hardy. Thank you guys and gals for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe if you wish, and do check out the channels of both Emily Boone and Rachel Wagner. The links for their channels is down below in the description box. If you wish to see more from me, then please check out my gaming channel where I do Let's Play series, gaming content, all that kind of good stuff. Until next time, peace out, take care. Adios, amigos, au revoir, and sayonara.